Hi, this is Andy Wilson, um, and today we're talking about writing both DB applications in Java. Um, the, the general agenda is that we're going to do a, a quick introduction to both DB and its basic concepts. We're going to talk about one of the key components to all um, uh, Volt applications, which is creating the catalog. We'll talk about writing a client, and that'll interact with uh, with the catalog. And we'll also talk about uh, well, we'll answer some questions then. Now, one of the things to to just bear in mind is that when we're talking about Java applications, I'm going to kind of I'm going to kind of ease us back just for a second before we move forward, and. I'm just going to mention that we still want to apply some of the principles that we use in regular web application or database application development. That means that if we can cache data and avoid network traffic, we want to avoid network traffic as best as we can. Um, we, want to, we want to still think of Volt as being this very high speed transactional database, but at the same time, we want to apply common sense techniques that we've been using for years and years and years in all of our database applications. Volt transactions. Um, Volt is obviously ACID compliant. It is transactional. Um, we have uh, every single, a, a single SQL statement or stored procedure um, is not complete until it's actually committed. So typical Java application um, you would usually start and end a transaction, either explicitly or implicitly. With Volt, when you issue out the transaction to, the, uh, to Volt, Volt will actually initiate the transaction at the database side. It's like having auto commit always turned on. And when that transaction is, when that transaction is completed, whatever it happens to be, it is immediately committed assuming that it is successful. If there is a fault, then the transaction is rolled back. We have Java stored procedures. And Java stored procedures allow you to put together a whole collection of, um, of, of, of uh, SQL statements, but you're not actually required, and I'm going to show this in a few moments, you're not actually required to write Java stored procedures. You can write single SQL statements in both an ad hoc format where you're issuing them out much like you would across JDBC, um, or you can put create actual single statement stored procedures that execute on the Volt server side, and they are treated as stored procedures. You also get freebie stored procedures. These are your typical CRUD type of operations. Um, so if you create an arbitrary table, you right away get an insert, an update, a select, and a delete. 